time for Quiplash with your host, Josh Schmitty Schmitzenstein. Who's me? Oh, that's me. I'm Schmitty. I knew that. Great names. What is that? Dutch? Super. Let's do this. This is round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's and decide who wins. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go. Okay, remember, this is all your fault. First up, you know you're going crazy when you hear the Rice Krispies say blank. Okay, everybody pick your favorite. Lawyer's opening statement to the jury. Ready, set, vote. the hedgehog would trade all of his gold rings for. Time to vote. CD Tower. It's voting time. <laughs> Round one is behind us. Let's see how you scored. is pulling into the station with double the points and bonuses.
Use a safety clip if you can't think of anything. Okay, I hope you all made me proud. Number one on the list, the one thing they don't show you on the Pentagon tour is the secret blank room. Okay, choose your favorite. Your next prompt is the title of a Goosebumps book that was never published. Vote now. Okay, next one. What people in the early 1900s probably said when they got electricity for the first time. Okay, vote. Moving on, how you know a co-worker had sex on your desk? Vote away. If you really want to waste your one phone call in prison, call blank. Get devoted. And that's all for round two. Fire up the scoreboard. <laughs> round three has arrived. The last lash. You're all going to answer the same prompt, so pull out all the stops. Make up the full name for this acronym. Everybody's in. Okay, in round three, you get to award three medals, gold, silver, and bronze. Have at it.
Okay, let's see who got those medals. Bronze. Silver. And now the gold. Great. Let me just turn those medals into points for you. That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard.
Welcome to Faking It. I'm Cookie, and this is the first party I've been to in a while that doesn't require a fishbowl and keys. Couple quick words before we jump into the game. And yes, it's skippable if you're one of those people. During each round of play, each of you is going to be sent a task to your device. Like, raise your hand if you've ever farted. But one of you will get nothing. And that person is the faker. Everyone wants to figure out who the faker is, and the faker just wants to blend in. When you hear the ghost sound, you either raise your hand or not, depending on whether you've ever farted before, which you have. And the faker just has to fake it. After that, everyone votes on their device who they think the faker is. If everyone picks the correct person, the faker is caught. But here's the most important part. Fakers, if you're caught in a lie, if you raise your hand when you really should have kept it down, lie, cheat, deny, come up with whatever story you have to to throw other players off the scent. Be the faker. Some of the tasks will involve raising your hand, or pointing, or maybe making a weird face. But there will always be a faker, and you'll have three chances to catch him. Oh, one more quick suggestion before we get going. It's important to be able to see each other, so if possible, consider sitting in a semicircle or like small lines facing each other. Whatever works best while still feeling comfortable. Let's start with Hands of Truth. It's an easy one, just like we saw a minute ago. Everyone's going to get a task that involves raising your hand. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. was, raise your hand if you've seen Game of Thrones. Vote for who you think is probably the faker. You can change your vote if you change your mind, by the way. The faker can only be caught if the vote is unanimous. So do your best to come to a group consensus. You get two more chances to catch that faker. <laughs> Sending your second Hands of Truth task to your devices now. Task, raise your hand if you've ever touched a snake. Vote for the faker now. You didn't find the faker, and you didn't really learn anything definitive. One last chance to catch the faker. <laughs> Sending out your third hands of truth task now.
and the task was, raise your hand if you're a millennial. Vote for who you suspect is the faker. You know how you should all rally together in the final moments to work together and find the faker? You didn't do that. And what will our next task category be? Use your device to choose which type of tasks you'll all be subjected to. If you want to pick a category, I will. It's going to be... Welcome to Trivia Night, a shambling homunculus of pain and regret. But we're also gonna learn, with a few laughs along the way. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, 
I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Feel free to join the audience if you're some kind of masochist. Audience members get a chance to die too. Am I over explaining this? The last group was super dumb. Let's just get into it. Alright, first question. What does the video game character Turok hunt? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, I have a surprise for you! I'm going to ask you a question. Your life depends on how you answer. What's the best thing about school? Type an answer in your device and press send when you're finished. Everyone gets to vote. Pick which of these answers you hate the most. The person who wrote the answer with the most votes will die. Pick the answer that makes you go bad. Bad doggy. Look at what you did. No. <laughs> the votes are in. The votes are in and nobody likes you. There comes a time in every person's life when they die and become a ghost. But don't worry, ghosts love trivia party games, so you're still in this. You haven't lost or anything. I kind of wish I were a ghost. Ah, <sighs> someday. It's early, but here are your scores. But don't get too high or too low because you're all doomed, remember? Next question. I have to write a really angry note about the refrigerator to post in the break room at work. What's the largest size standard font option in Microsoft Word? said this. The rest of you, I have a surprise for you. Hello, guten tag. Welcome back to the killing floor. We're going to play chalices. I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Okie dokie, it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. These chalices are all pretty sweet. <laughs> Good to the last drop, if you know what I mean. Now let's see what everyone drank. So, this is awkward. brought a knife to a poison fight. Just to prove this isn't a fever dream, here are the scores again. Here's another one. What is a Moscow mule traditionally served in? Who 
said this? Lame. All right, next question. Here's a fitting question for people stuck in a basement. When did the first John Madden football game come out? And the correct answer is... This one. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. You're in for a treat. I want to see your artistic side. Now, no pressure, but you will die if you screw this up. Nature. Draw this thing the best you can and press send when you're finished. will be lost forever. Hit send. No drawing? That's not acceptable. Lazy. Just lazy. Alright, next question. Which breakfast grain variety does Chuck's not sell? animal does the sound of the oboe represent in Sergei Prokofiev's musical composition, Peter and the Wolf? It's time for a dice game. I'll go first. Nine. Now I need an assistant. You'll do. In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? You can make it as hard or as easy as you want. Way to go, Blandy McBoring choice. Roll lower than me or you die. The house always wins. have the final round all set up and ready. So I guess we'll do this. You're doing the best, so you get one more chance. The time has come. Glad to see you've made it here alive. But can you escape with your body? I'm going to give you a category. Mountain Dew flavors. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. See the right answers! 
You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If the ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. If ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Almost up. Trivial Pursuit Genus Edition Categories.
He's downstairs. Come on in.
Welcome to Trivia Night, a rolling sea of dark, dark... Yeah, who needs rules? Let's get on with it. Okay, first question. Hopefully this game has given you a rush of adrenaline, so tell me. Where does that adrenaline come from? The correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of you, I want to show you something. Welcome to the killing floor. We're going to play the finger cutting game. I know what you're thinking and don't worry, it's not complicated at all. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. Super simple. Chop chop. Ah! Is it weird that I just love fingers? I guess anyone would say the same thing. Here's everybody's scores. Don't get too obsessed with your numbers though, it's mostly about the killing. Let's try another one. If I wanted you to get gored at the annual running of the bulls, where would I send you in Spain? ask you a question. So put a little thought into this. It's important. Which horror movie is the scariest? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the answer that you hate the most. Whoever wrote the answer with the most votes dies. Pick the answer that makes you go, uh, no thank you. <laughs> the votes are in. Angry Mob has spoken, fair and square. Here's where everybody's at right now. I've got more questions for you. What's the second book in Stieg Larsson's trilogy? Let's go someplace fun. Let's do a little memory test. Memorize the pattern. And done. Is it distracting if I start yelling out, Car! Duck! Square! Wisconsin! <laughs> From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? And if your puny brains can only remember one thing, don't come in last.
Time is almost up. Hey, remember this? How'd you do? It looked like you forgot what was at stake. Let's try this again. Which of these girls is not mentioned in Mambo number five? Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. All the safe players will be playing too. And if any of them do better than you, it'll be bad. Math time! Let's go! While you guys are doing math, I've been learning how to fold origami. Today is all about improving ourselves. Only time for a few more problems. I know math's not your thing, so this might be hard for you to understand, but your number, it's not the highest one. It's kind of weird that the other players wanted you dead, right? Like, they didn't even have that much to gain. They just wanted you dead. Let's try another one. Hey, just a reminder that public radio is important. Be sure to donate when you get the chance. Thanks. And now back to the trivia. What's the name of the fictional town in A Prairie Home Companion? questions for you. What is Europe's longest river? answer is this. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Come with me. <laughs> Nothing brings out the best in people like a big pile of cash. Here's how this is going to work. If no one takes the money, no one dies. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who didn't. There's one catch. If you all take the money, then you all die. Don't be shy. Talk it out. <laughs> Let's see who was a jerk and who was a sucker. Ah, oh, crap. I don't get to kill anybody. Alright, next question. What author is responsible for Goosebumps?
Who said this one? Let's go someplace fun. It's time for some wordplay. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. It wasn't easy to make this whole letter grid thing work on your phone, so you're welcome. Don't be the person with the shortest word or you'll regret it. We've pretty much started, so don't dwaddle. By the way, the letters don't have to be touchy. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. find something. Let's see what you could come up with. Is this what the kids would call an epic spelling fail? Hashtag epic spelling fail. If you tie, you die. Oh crap, everybody's dead. I need somebody alive for the final round. Okay then. You have the most money, so you get one more chance. The time has come. Well look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Human bones. Tap on each answer that fits, then press. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Anytime today, kiddo. People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive in the 90s. Decisions, decisions. Beware of the darkness. Films released in 3D. Time today, kiddo. Uh oh, that ghost is gonna get ya. And you're out of here. Godzilla opponents.
front of you. Downstairs, come on in. <laughs> 